Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, girl on the ridge. Just a quick cup of coffee. I um, I want to let you know that I'm still around, <laughs> and thank you for the messages I received in Etsy and PM'd. I am doing okay. I just got one of those nice old-fashioned summer colds, and I sound like I sound worse than I feel. So we're dealing with that. Um, I just want to show you, like I said, I'm having a lot of froth this morning. Nice hot coffee. And I'm working on, not much. <laughs> this is what I've been working on. I've been watching more TV than actually crafting. And that's what I get. That's what I was thinking. See, I clean my area, clean my table and this and that, and I get sick. So is it really worth it? <laughs> this is another one of the... Um, uh, coffee. Well, actually, I used tissue paper on this one to make the leather look. And this one's a blue. And then this is the one that they look like an envelope. And then the journal will be sewn in here. Oh, kind of like blues. So that will be that one. And the other one I tried was uh, Anna had mentioned. Um, if I did it, I ever did it in a light color. And the lightest I could get is, um, I did do in, I use, this is pattern paper. So if you see the lines and stuff, the sewing pattern paper, um, I used Rusty Hinge, Wild Honey, and then a little vintage photo. And then I put the, um, some kind of, I think it was like a canvasy. And then in here will be a pink book. And this is going to be a little bigger. See this one? They're going to be the, about, I mean, just different sizes for, I don't know. I, I, sometimes I like to make them bigger and longer. And then this is going to be like a pink, pinky one. And then I was working on, um, And then this is going to be another one. Am I backwards here? This is, oh, a new digital. I found, um, it's got dahlias in it. Shabby dahlia, and it's my pretty prints. And I was just, I was just playing around with these, but the paper is gorgeous. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? So this, I think I'll make a small, probably like, let's see, they fit in this size, this size, maybe. Um, I did want to address a couple questions. Let me go get my... Right, now, this is a another piece of cardstock that I put um, the glue on it and I just put some pattern paper so when I'm trying to think what the question was um, oh she was getting like dots not dots like clobs um, let's see let's do Vintage photo. First of all, on the side, I'm going to put it. Let's see. Can you see this first? Yeah, you can. <clears throat> I'm going to put it over here. I don't put it right on my paper unless I unless the paper is wet. I think this dipper has got a hole in it. It does. All right, so say... And I'm always going to get water. Water's going to make it go farther and spread better. And sometimes I'm even going to hit my paper. Even though this is nice and dry, I'm going to hit it. And then I'm going to go over it. Now, um, she was getting, like, big blotches. Let's see if I can try to imitate what she she said her problem was. I'm going to do just what I said I wasn't going to do. 
she was getting like all right, big splotches like that and she didn't like that so the only thing that I I do is I would get more water and just blend it out I'm hardly touching it because you you want the color in that spot but you don't want the lines so this is where and it's the same thing as inking and painting you're just blending it it's like blending the makeup on your face so you don't have that line so I'm very very lightly even touching it and then water's your best friend in this particular instance and then just blending it out because I don't like any dots in mine. So you just and what color was that? That was rusty hinge. So let's say I want to do some red barn fire brick. Fire brick. I'm going to just, yeah, we're going to get rid of this a little. Just put this over here. And here I'm just going to maybe do the ends. Hit it with a little water. And just blending it, blend it, blend it, blend it. That's why I think this takes so long, because you're just blending the colors. And I mean, you might like the, the sharp edges. I'm, I'm a more of a blender. So I hope that answered your question. Huh? Just blend it out. So it all flows. I don't even know. This might I might even cut down, so I'm not gonna worry about the ends too much. Now here, whether it got wet from the glue and it will dry dark, I don't know. So I'm just gonna take either a picture when if I need to. I'll just try my pence pen, distressed crayon, and. And again, you can blend this out to, you know, sharp edges. I just think of it as makeup. No sharp edges around the doll line. <laughs> and I love the crinkles. So I usually line the crinkles. And then use my finger. And if it's too thick and I can use my water so there's all different kind of techniques a lot of people do different things what works for them and that's fine just find your happy happy way and how you like yours to turn out I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna put too much black in here because I, I kind of like because we have the, the lighter one and the dark one i think honestly i think i like the darker one and the lighter one needs some more dark it needs like maybe the pet it needs um the wrinkles to be a little more defined that's maybe what it is now nah, maybe not the whole thing it just doesn't look finished to me well, it's not, but, but I had to decorate the front anyway. So, yeah. So, 
So yeah, that is just. And this is a good time when you're not feeling well. Just do a bunch of these because they're pretty much, you're not thinking about it. And I got like a four sheets, big sheets done. Yeah, see that's, I like that already. So we're just kind of, and let's see what I've used before. Shoe polish, I've used um, wets, I've used. The crayons are new to me, so that's why I'm using these. Will I buy them again? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I might, but then, you know, we use things and then we get bored of them and then they sit there. So, I I won't buy them until they're all completely gone. And then I'll see. Yep. It makes a big difference, those little crinkles in your... Whether it be tissue paper, pattern paper, coffee filters, whatever you have a lot of, it really, really make it nice. Make it aged, very aged looked. So this I would say more vintage and the other one is more grungy. So yeah, that looks good. So yeah, that's that's about my speed today. Just playing with paper. Ooh, there's a lot of wrinkles down here. So I did, uh, hopefully the weekend I feel a little better. I'll do an update on Craftyville pages. I know I got a couple more in, a couple more on the way. There's one coming from Australia. Don't worry, we will wait for it. We're not in a hurry. It's going to take some time to put this together. So... Alrighty, yeah, so this is how this is how we're headed. Alrighty guys, I won't bore you anymore. So you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Hopefully the heat is coming down where you are, because it finally is around here. And we'll see you later. Bye.